In this video, we talk about what is zero budget natural farming. In farming sector, the farmer want to reduce the input cost and they want to get maximum output. That's a way of uh, doubling the farmer income. So in zero budget natural farming, everything, everything is possible. So I'm making the slides. It is, easy, it is easy to understand for everyone. I'm making the slides. So guys, watch the video, the entire video. You will get idea about what is zero budget natural farming. Okay guys, let's we go for the slides from beginning to end. Okay guys, let's we go for to understand what is zero budget natural farming. Hello friends, welcome to Pradeep Agri Views. In today's slide, we talk about zero budget natural farming. Double the profit of farmers. First slide. Introduction. In India, the agriculture sector has been dominated for the past over 55 years by Green Revolution. Actually friends, Green Revolution is start 1965 up to 2020 it's 55 years. Green Revolution has influenced the economy by increasing agriculture production and productivity. Nowadays, using conventional techniques in agriculture is like cancer to our soil and health. It's true. As well as, it does not only make the soil barren, but eventually the farmer goes under debt. A revolutionary impact on Green Revolution or modern agriculture techniques that broke away the old and outdated traditional practices. Zero budget natural farming. The word budget refers to credit and expense. Thus the phrase zero budget means without using any credit and without spending any money on purchase input. Natural farming means farming with nature and without chemicals. That's zero budget natural farming. Father of natural farming. Masanobu Fukuoka. Masanobu Fukuoka is considered as the father of modern day natural farming. Masanobu Fukuoka in his book One Star Revolution indicates four basic principles of natural farming. No plowing, no chemical fertilizers, no weeding, no plant production. Yoshiaku Kawaguchi. Yoshiaku Kawaguchi is considered as originator of second generation natural farming. In the documentary of Final Straw, Food Earth Happiness, he restarts the core value of natural farming as do not plow the field. Weeds and insects are not your enemies. There is no need to add fertilizers. Adjust the food you grow based on your local climate and condition. He also says same thing of Masanabu Fukaka. And, and I want to mention one thing. One Star Revolution is a good book. Read that book I am giving in description. It's very book a good book for a, read the natural for me about to know about natural farming. Subhas Palekar Indian agriculturist Subhas Palekar is the creator of zero budget natural farming model in India. He is considered it as Krishika Rishi. His model eliminates the cost of fertilizer, pesticides and seeds. NC title zero budget natural farming. Various production practices in zero budget natural farming. First, crop rotation. Crop rotation means having times where the fertility of soil is being built up and the times where crops are grown which remove nutrients. Crop rotation also help, helps a variety of natural predator to survive on their farm. Actually nothing friends, crop rotation. If you are cultivating any of the crop like uh, legumes crops, after you are harvesting, you are uh, you are growing another crop. It's good, the, it's good for the another crop. If you are cultivating the same crop in same land, it will decrease your nutrient content. But in legumes crops, it will in the root directly absorb the nitrogen fixation. So it is good for another crop. So crop rotation is good practice. And second, various production practice in zero budget natural farming, tillage. Annual tillage, chemical fertilization and pesticides used constantly affect the population of earthworm. When tillage is avoided, soil moisture content is increased, augment the propagation of earthworm. Earthworm are known to make the soil porous and enrich the soil with their casting. Seeds are scattered and covered by a straw before harvesting the previous crop. Seeds are germinated by the arrival of next favorable season. Various production practices in zero budget natural farming. Third, crop residue management. The crop residue management is the material left after the harvesting of crop. Farmer have been burning the large quantity of crop residues, particularly in the area with high yield potential. 
as the crop residue may interfere with the tillage and seeding operation for the next crop. Many farmers prefer to burn the residues left in the field that lead to air pollution and wastage of nutrients. Right now we are facing in Delhi the pollution because of the burning of crop residues. I already talked about in my uh, straw, burning of straw what the problem it will cause. So previous video you can check it that. And various production practices in zero budget natural farming, seed quality. In zero budget natural farming, traditional and, and local seeds is a desi seeds are taking as a, taken as planting material for next season crop and so on to reduce the input cost of seeds. For insect pest management in zero budget natural farming, allowing for an acceptable level of pest damage. We want to allow for the acceptable level of pest damage, encouraging predatory predatory beneficial insects to control pests if you are applying pesticides no beneficial insect beneficial insects also will affect it so you want to don't use the pesticides careful crop selection choosing disease resistant variety companion crop that discourage or divert pest crop rotation to different location from year to year to interrupt pest reproduction cycle insect traps to monitor and control the insect population so like a pheromone or a yellow sticky trap or blue sticky trap to monitor the insect population row cover to protect crops during the pest migration periods different astras for pest management first agni astra and second neem astra in agri agni astra this is a primarily is the mixture of chili garlic neem and cow urine and used to control the insect like leaf roller stem borer fruit borer Pod borer. In neem astra, the mixture of cow dung, urine, neem, etc. and used against leaf sucking insects and mealy bugs. Actually, there is a cheeving insects also there and sucking insects also there. How to prepare Agni astra? Crush 500 gram of green chili and it in urine. Add 10 liters of local cow urine in it. Then add 1 kg of tobacco by crushing it in the urine and add the 5 kg of neem leaves and crush 500 gram local garlic and uh, it in the urine and boil the solution boil the solution will 5 times continuously and the solution to be ferment for 24 hours after it will be ready Agni Astra for how to prepare neem astra take 100 liters of water add 5 liters of local cow urine in it Add 5 kg of cow dung in it. Crush 5 kg of neem leaves and add the neem pulp in this water. Let the solution to be ferment for 24 hours. And it will be ready. And how to prepare Jeeva Amrita? Take 200 liters water in the barrel. Take 10 kg of local cow dung. Add and 5 to 10 liters of cow urine. Add it in the water. Then add 2 kg of jaggery, 2 kg of pulse flour and a handful of soil from the bund. Then stir the solution well and keep it for ferment for 48 hours in the shade. Now Jeeva Amrita is ready for application. Apply the Jeeva Amrita to the crop with each irrigation water or directly to the crop. What is the role of Jeeva Amrita? Soil is saturated with all the nutrients but these are in the non-available form to the root of the plant. Beneficial microorganism in Jeeva Amrita convert the nutrient in non-available form into dissolved form when it inoculated to the soil. Okay. Jeeva Amrita is either sprayed, sprinkled on the crop field or added to the irrigation tank in regular interval of 15 days until the soil is enriched. That's the role of Jeeva Amrita. This is a macronutrient composition friends of Jeeva Amrita and the ingredients. Actually macronutrient nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium and magnesium. Totally in Jeeva Amrita nitrogen content will be 0.168 percentage. In phosphorus 0.365 and potassium 0.85 and calcium 0.02 and magnesium 0.048 and uh, sulfur 0.045. And this is the micronutrient composition of Jeeva Amrita and its ingredients. It's micronutrition like iron, magnesium, manganese, zinc, copper and boron. In iron, it content of 1334, 
and manganese 77 and zinc 255 copper 39 and boron 155 conclusion in zero budget natural farming saving on cost of seeds fertilizer and plant production chemical has been substantial because of continuous incorporation of organic residues and replenishment of soil fertility helps to maintain the soil health the new system of farming has freed the farmer from the debt trap and it has been instilled in them renewed the sense of confidence to make farming on economical viable venture okay friends that's the major concept of zero budget natural farming i think all all of my friends will understand what is zero budget natural farming okay friends that's a video if you like my video subscribe my video and thanks for watching and friends make you awareness to the all the farmer we don't want to waste in input cost reduce the input cost we want to increase our output so input are the major problem in the agriculture sector we are uh, the marketing people all, all are setting in mindset of all the farmers so we want to think about traditional farming method so we, we don't want to put input everything in the nature so we want to make we want to read the nature and we want to restore the land restoration process and everything the process will take care by nature so okay friends that's a video if you like my video subscribe my video thanks for watching Chai Hind. Thank you.